Okay, so that was from Fox 5 in Las Vegas. We're being joined right now uh, on the phone here. Uh, I believe we have Las Vegas Sun reporter Casey Harrison, who is uh, on the scene. He watched this all unfold. Casey, do you have us? Hey, Andrew, how's it going? Thanks Good. For me. Yeah, thank you so much for being with us. We're just going to put up some video from the scene itself. This was active. This started, you know, way back early this morning at 11 a.m. But Casey, if you could, for our viewers, take us back to the weekend. Tell us who Jeff German was, why people think he was stabbed very, very gruesomely, and what led us to this arrest just moments ago by Las Vegas police, if you could. Yeah, so um, on Saturday, Metro Police came out and said that um, there's been a stabbing occurring uh, in central Las Vegas, um, and it came to be uh, the home of German, who is an investigative reporter for the Las Vegas Review Journal. Longtime Las Vegas reporter has covered everything, um, you know, from the mob to uh, county government, uh, with a career spanning more than four decades here in Las Vegas. Um, very well respected investigative reporter. Um, and it, it, it turns out that uh, his, it, I believe his neighbor found him uh, Saturday morning, called police. Um, police determined that um, whoever it was um, who likely uh, stabbed um, Dearman was, uh, you know, did so um, probably between the hours of 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. Friday. Um, so the body had been there for some time before he'd been found. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's just been a, a, a totally shocking experience for uh, not only the press board here in Las Vegas, but the greater community. Um, Jeff was, you know, a champion for, for journalism and local journalism at that. Um, and it's just been, it's been crazy. Um, Casey, did you know Jeff personally? Uh, and what does this mean for really the media community out there? I used to be a reporter in Vegas. So widely respected. And from what I understand, the reporting suggests he has done several stories about Robert Tejas uh, as his time as a Clark County assessor, uh, to which many are chalking up uh, Tejas's primary loss in recent elections to some of those stories that portrayed him in a negative light. Do we know the nature of some of that? Um, so I'm not, you know, a, a total expert on uh, what Jeff's reporting and how, how in-depth it went, um, just, you know, sort of touching base on it today. Um, it appeared that Jeff had reported on uh, some misconduct with TELUS's office, um, a, a quote-unquote inappropriate relationship with a subordinate staffer, um, and it all kind of culminated uh, to a pretty vitriolic, uh, you know, relationship between the two. Uh, TELUS had posted on Twitter, and he had taken to social media a couple times voicing his frustrations um, with Gehrman's reporting. Um, you know, not necessarily disproving it, just saying that it was, you know, he was lying and, uh, you know, something of a hit job, um, you know, the things that public officials will, will say when uh, they're kind of backed into a corner. Um, so, you know, before, I, I think it's important here that, yes, um, he was taken into custody just moments ago, um, but, you know, as of, as of right now, um, everything is still alleged, um, and so we're still waiting for all the information to come out. Okay, but uh, Casey, let's focus on, though, today and, and the efforts from this morning uh, and, and what exactly led police to this home. Give us a sense of where in Las Vegas, maybe for some of our viewers who are familiar, uh, and then uh, exactly what they were looking for. Uh, I've been following some of your tweets. They were interested in a particular vehicle, and then it kind of all escalated in the last couple of hours where... SWAT was called, where fire trucks and ambulances were called, and, and then an arrest was made. Was he in the house the whole time? Do we know that? So he wasn't in the house for the whole day. Um, I was there earlier today, um, right around the time my shift started, which was probably about 9 a.m. Um, police had been in the area probably since about 7. Um, and we're talking, like, this isn't like the Las Vegas Strip. Um, we're talking like a residential neighborhood. Um, in the north uh, western part of town, uh, and so you know, police had been searching the home for quite a few hours, um, and then sometime early mid afternoon, it had come out that um, Pellis had come back to his house. Um, he wasn't wearing street clothes; he was wearing sort of a white, um, sort of like a painter's jumpsuit. Um, you know, I some some of the rumors out there said that he went in for police questioning. Um, and then, you know, right around 4 o'clock, police 
returned to the neighborhood, um, started knocking on doors. Um, they were and, and there was no response from Telus or anybody else at the home. Um, and that's when that's when things really started to amp up. Um, just between you know, it, it seemed like I got there probably closer to five five thirty, um, and then from the time I got there, um, almost immediately they started pushing back the perimeter for uh, for media and for staging, um, and you know, it, it just seemingly by the minute there were uh, police cruisers after police cruisers coming, there were ambulances, fire trucks, um, a, a couple armored SWAT vehicles, um, some mobile command centers, so. Um, probably one of the largest police presences I've seen in my time here in Vegas. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's just been, it's, it's been a, a whirlwind of a day. So, Casey, uh, and, and, you know, we're a stream here. We, we have some time, so uh, let me know if you have to go. But I, I was curious. There's been some reporting out there to suggest that uh, Robert Tellez uh, has been taken to the hospital. Do you know if he suffered any injuries or was he taken into custody peacefully? What do we know about that? Um, I'm not 100% sure on that right now. Um, being at the scene, they offered very minimal information. Um, I, I know that there's been some chatter on the uh, police scanner, but I'm not able to confirm that right now. So I, I really would prefer not to speak on it. Of course. Uh, and had you been speaking to maybe some of the neighbors and the residents who essentially their neighborhood was put on lockdown today there? And did they know what was going on? Mm -hmm. No, a lot of them had no idea, um, you know, talking to some of the neighbors, pointing at the house. Um, a, a lot of the people in the neighborhood didn't even know um, uh, who Robert was, um, you know, said they might have seen him in passing a couple times. Um, but for most of my accounts, um, it's, a, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. Um, not a whole lot goes on, you know, relatively ho hum. Um, and so people were shocked by the large police presence there today. Okay, Casey, we want to thank you so much, Casey Harrison with the Las Vegas Sun, uh, great, great paper out in Las Vegas. What will you be looking for next, though, while you cover this story in the days to come? We've got an arrest in connection to the uh, stabbing death, the murder of a very prominent journalist uh, in the area, uh, Jeff German. Uh, what happens next, do you think? Where do we go from here? So now that there's been an arrest, um, you know, I think the legal process will start to play out. Um, you know, typically when uh, somebody's arrested in Las Vegas, um, in Nevada, uh, we'll be getting a 72 hour hearing here pretty soon. Um, probably word on arraignment, um, Sheriff Joe Lombardo, uh, he'll be providing an update to the media tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, so that'll be 1 p.m. Eastern, I believe. Um, uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm sure more details will come up then. As of right now, um, you know, there are just a lot of things in the air, but, um, you know, I, see this quickly going to Las Vegas Justice Court, um, where the legal system will kind of play out. And just lastly, Casey, you know, as a journalist uh, who covers the community there, and for one of your own, one of your colleagues, your contemporaries, uh, who was quite revered uh, and, and had such an investigative prowess under, under him, uh, his death, what does that mean, I guess, you know, for the First Amendment, for holding even your local officials accountable that it could possibly be connected and end up in your death with what you had uncovered. That's really, really shocking to, to, to witness uh, and to see here. Yeah, as a journalist, I would say it's terrifying. Um, you know, we live in the, in the United States of America where, um, you know, uh, journalism and the First Amendment and free, spree free speech should be um, you know, all protected under the law and you should be able to, um, you know, conduct an investigation and write an investigation on a public official, um, you know, without having to worry about paying your life as a price for it. Um, you know, I didn't know Jeff personally. Um, I know a lot of people at the Review Journal. He worked at The Sun for about 20 years. Um, so a lot of my colleagues are just devastated. Um, and it, it's definitely been a tough time. Um, you know, I would just say, the optics of an outgoing public official, um, you know, who is accused of murdering a journalist who um, investigated him. I mean, that is just, it, it's troubling, very bizarre, um, not something that I ever thought I would counter in my time reporting. All right, Casey Harrison with the Las Vegas Sun. We appreciate your time tonight. Uh, maybe we'll speak again. Thanks so much for offering your reporting. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we wanted to stay on top of that story. It broke over the weekend. It's just getting so much attention now, especially nationally. And you heard there from that reporter, Casey Harrison, offering 
his reporting uh, tonight uh, at that neighborhood there in Clark County outside Las Vegas uh, with this arrest made, that former Clark County assessor arrested in connection with the death of that Las Vegas Review Journal journalist. I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks so much for being with us. We're going to take a quick commercial break.